What's going on, arcade enthusiasts? So it's been a while since I've done anything arcade-related on this channel, and I thought this was a fun project that I would share with everybody. What you're looking at is a CPS System 2 from Capcom running my favorite fighting game of all time, Darkstalkers. Uh, this is the first game in the series. And a little backstory about this. I actually bought this system several years ago. The unfortunate part was during transportation back to my place, the neck on the monitor shattered effectively making the monitor useless. And I didn't have the money to replace the monitor at the time, so I ended up scrapping the monitor and selling the cabinet to a friend of mine who requested it for a project of his own. But I kept everything else. So I have the game itself, the motherboard, the harnesses, the buttons, the sticks, and the marquee. And my goal for this year is to get this game back up and running. So basically, I just need to buy a new power supply, a new cabinet, to fit this into and a monitor or, or some sort of monitor that I can use to run this game. So hopefully uh, that'll be something that I can get going later. But for now, um, the CPS System 2's had what they called a suicide battery in it that would keep track of the certain key that it would use to run the game. If that battery were to wear out or die, sometimes it would leak acid all over the board, effectively destroying the board, or it just wouldn't run the game at all. So you would have to send it into Capcom to have them replace the battery, or replace the battery yourself. And that was their way of fighting piracy. And you have to change out that battery every four to five years or whatever. Uh, here, the last time it was actually done was back in 2013, so I thought for this project it's great to do because the battery is pretty much towards the end of its life. And I wanted to get rid of it so it didn't leak all over the board or potentially destroy this game because I want to hold on to it. So there was this board that I came across from ParadiseArcadeShop.com called the Undamned Infinity Key. And I've already done the work, so I'm just going to, all the screws are off, I'm going to open this up here and I'll show you how that works. So this is the board itself. Uh, normally up at the top here, you would see that the battery would sit on the other side of this part here of the board. And the new board that we're going to install actually comes down underneath this pin set here. Uh, and you can see all the original RAM chips and everything. I'm going to actually try to flip this board over carefully here. Set this down. So up here you can see the battery has been desoldered and removed. And down here this is where our pin set was and this is the infinity key. And you'll have to excuse my soldering job, I need a little more practice on here. But I did what I could and it seems to be in, it's firmly in place anyway. So I soldered it down here and this is about a 10 minute job. And uh, there's a circuit up here, it says open for dash 5. That's the revision. Uh, if it's a, a 5, you would normally not put any solder on here. Uh, this is actually a revision 6 board for Dark Stalkers. So I closed that up. And then up here at the top is where you would put in the new key. Paradise Shop does provide a PDF that has all the various keys for the different CPS2 games. Uh, making it very easy to find which one to use. And the nice thing is, is if you screw this up and you put solder on the wrong circuit or whatever, it just won't run the game, but it won't mess anything up. So you just simply get that solder off and put it in the right, right place. So for me, it was just these two up here and then this one in the corner. So all that's left now is to kind of close this thing up, which I'm going to do here in a bit. And uh, thankfully, I have an Atomos Wave system that runs JAMA, so I'm just going to plug it into that and see if it turns on and runs. So we'll do that here in a second. All right, so we're back here. This is my JAMA Arcade, my Atomos Wave, which you've probably seen in several other videos. Normally, it's running Metal Slug or some other Atomos Wave system. I've got the Darkstalkers board plugged in back there with the JAMA. It's just kind of resting. I don't have the kick harness, which is generally for the kick buttons, plugged in currently, but I just want to make sure that this runs, so I'm just using the basic uh, JAMA harness at this point. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on and uh, see if we get a picture. Where's my buttons all the way up here? And we'll see if we get any uh, memory read up here. And hey, we got picture. I need to clean that fan, it sounds really loud. But it is working perfectly. Look at that, I love that intro. So yeah, the Infinity Key from uh, Paradise Arcade Shop seems to work very well. 
I am impressed. I no longer have to worry about the suicide battery or replacing the battery every three years or so. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to play a little Darkstalkers here and uh, end it here. Uh, as always, thanks guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.